As of April 18th, 2015, this is breaking news from Daily Strange News. The problem with most unusual events and occurrences is they normally don't repeat themselves, at least not with the frequency so that they can be studied. This is not the case with the strange plasma lights and orbs seen at Hesdal in Norway, also referred to as the Hesdals Phenomenon. Hesdalen is a small valley in the southern part of Norway. At the end of 1981, residents of the valley became very concerned about the strange, unexplained lights that appeared at many locations throughout the valley. At the peak of activity, there were about 20 reports a week. They occurred with such frequency that in August 1998, an international team of scientists set up a permanent observation building on site, outfitted with an array of advanced sensors and detectors. With this type of brain power studying a light phenomenon, you would guess that they would have the strange occurrences sorted out within a very short time period, but that would not be the case. Today, in 2015, 17 years later, their investigation continues. They now know that the lights are not a trick of light. Natural gas, comets, meteors, landing lights, searchlights, flashlights, ball lightning, a hoax, a reflection, temperature inversion, or any other normal, natural, or man-made phenomenon. What is known is that it appears to be some form of plasma that generates intense light, but no known comparable heat signature, which should be impossible or near impossible by normal known laws of physics. Scientists believe if they can understand how this Hesdal phenomenon functions, that it can become a new source of clean energy for the world. Now there seems to be a similar phenomenon detected by NASA, located on the dwarf planet Ceres. The image shown is to scale for comparison. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt, which lies between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It is composed of rock and ice, is 590 miles in diameter, and is considered a dwarf planet by NASA. The Hubble telescope and the Dawn spacecraft have both photographed the strange sources of light on Ceres, and were originally thought to be the reflections from the dwarf planet's surface, but not any more. Federico Tazzi, PhD, researcher at the National Institute of Astrophysics in Italy, stated at the European Geosciences Union General Assembly on April 13, 2015, quote, Spot number 5 shows no distinct thermal behavior, end quote, meaning it is the same temperature as the surrounding Ceres surface as shown in the thermal image in the far right, but it is still very bright as shown in the left normal light spectrum images. If ice or anything else were reflecting sunlight from the surface of Ceres, thus creating the bright spot that we see, then the surface temperature at the bright spot should be a different temperature than its surroundings. If no viable explanations can be presented that can cause the bright spot and temperature anomaly on Ceres, then we could very well be viewing the same type of phenomenon occurring in Ceres that is occurring in the Valley of Hesdal on Norway. Adding to this strangeness, as of four days ago, April 15, 2015, scores of earthworms have been raining down from the sky all over southern Norway, which includes the area of Hesdalen. This has been widely reported from Norwegian news sources, like NRK, and is being studied by Norwegian scientists, such as researcher Trod Haraldsen at the Norwegian University of Life Sciences, and Professor Krister Ursis at Gothenburg University, Sweden, but they have not been able to locate a cause. Keep in mind that there's still a lot of snow on the ground in Norway, and the live earthworms are being found still moving on top of the snow, across all of southern Norway. There might be zero connection between the unusual light phenomenon in southern Norway and the earthworms falling from the sky, but it is worth mentioning. Daily Strange News has created a name for the possible shared phenomenon between Ceres and Hesdalen, the ceres Hesdalen effect. As of April 19, 2015, no theories have fit or explained away either mystery but perhaps other open-minded researchers will discover the truth behind these strange occurrences. Daily Strange News will post a follow-up news report once more information becomes available. Sherlock Holmes said it best when he said, When you eliminate the impossible, what remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Remember to subscribe to this channel for free, and tune in tomorrow for more Daily Strange News. Don't forget to support our sponsors. Take care, and God bless.